Um, you're on track for 30 inches of snow by the time this is done. What's causing more problems in the town right now? Is it snow or wind? Uh, it's a combination of the snow and wind. Right now we have about uh, 1,000 residents without power, which is about 12%. But the wind's blowing. Visibility is uh, really not good at this point. So if it was just snow, it would be fine. If it was just wind, it would be fine. But the combination of the wind uh, and the snow is just making it difficult for us to keep up. As the plows get out there and they remove the snow, are they finding that the wind just blows it right back into place? Yeah, I mean, you're getting the roads cleared and then you're getting the wind blowing it back over the roads and packing down. So driving is not good. Uh, if people are in their homes, they should stay there, stay off the roads at this point. Uh, you know, Situate kind of sticks out a little bit into the ocean. We had minor to moderate flooding at the low tide this morning, uh, waves breaking over houses. So it's, uh, it's a pretty good storm going on here now. It's going to go on for the next several hours. So we need people to stay in, stay hunkered down, and let us do our jobs cleaning everything up. A lot of people in Massachusetts would say, yeah, it's a snowstorm, no big deal. But it has been a while since you've seen one this intense causing this many problems. I guess maybe the good news is on a weekend? It, that's very good news for us. Uh, you know, we're down crews uh, for our snow plowing operations due to COVID, things like that. So having the storm on the weekend allows us to take some of our crews out of the schools. We don't have to worry about getting them open up today so we can put them on the roads. Also, it really drives down the amount of traffic, uh, people getting out, people getting around. So for the most part, people are staying home. We do see a couple of people out on the roads. Uh, people like to get out and watch the ocean in these storms, but uh, it's not very safe down there. There's a lot of water, there's a lot of wind. So it, stay home is what we're telling people at this point. Have you had any reports of problems or incidences that have popped up yet? Uh, not yet. Uh, we have no reports of any injuries or anything like that from the storm at this point. Again, uh, about 12% of the town is without power. Uh, police and fire calls have been uh, quiet at this point. Uh, knock on wood, we haven't received a lot of emergency calls. Uh, we are standing by and ready, but at this point in the storm, uh, it has been fairly quiet. Those who have lost power, if they don't have a way to get electricity, any, adv any advice for them uh, on staying warm? Because sometimes it can take a while for the power to get back on. Yeah, we're expecting uh, restoration probably not to start until tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we will have a warming shelter open at the town's council on aging. It will be available to anybody afternoon tomorrow. They can go there and get warm. There is a regional shelter in Weymouth that has been opened up. Uh, if people need to go up there, they can go to the regional shelter. But if people need assistance, uh, they should call the business line at the police fire department, which is 545-1212. Uh, and of course, if it's an emergency, they should call 911. But if you need assistance, call and we'll be able to get someone out there to help you. Any other advice or messages that you want to get out to the public this morning? Um, we know that the travel is not only difficult, but nearly impossible, and everything's closed down, so people could just kind of uh, breathe a sigh of relief. This is a day off. Yeah, there's no place for you to go if you want to go out. I mean, I haven't seen any stores open. Uh, there's no restaurants open. Uh, do not go down to the ocean to, to watch the waves come in. Um, so take the time off. Enjoy your time. Uh, hopefully you still have power. But just hunker down with your families, and uh, hopefully by tomorrow this will be blown over. We'll have it cleaned up, and everybody will be able to get out and uh, enjoy the weather. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.